Wallet, you wallet, 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 wallet. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ruby and I post videos every single Tuesday and Saturday. So for today's video, I thought it might be fun to kind of just sit down in front of the camera with you guys and give you a little backstory on who I am, where I came from, where my life is at right now, what plans I have for the future, just so you guys can get to know me a little bit more and know what I'm all about and who I am. And I know I posted a get to know me tag the other day, but instead of having questions that you guys asked me, I thought it might be fun to just kind of share where I'm at right now. So first, a little backstory about me. I am from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, which is also known as The Six. Run it through the six with my world. I was born and raised there in downtown Toronto. I grew up acting and it's always been something that I've really, really loved. My parents are actors and they've always been really supportive of my career and it's kind of been something that since I was a little kid, that's always what I've known that I've wanted to do. Right out of high school, I went right into um, theater school. I went to George Brown College for one year of introduction to the performing arts career studies. After college, I began, I got an agent and I began auditioning right away and then working as a bartender and a server um, on the side. A couple years ago, I kind of started to feel like I maybe wanted a change. I'd lived in Toronto my whole life. I'd never lived anywhere else. And although I love Toronto, I'm always going to call it my home. There's so much to offer there. I really did feel limited in the opportunities there. I was working on a film set with my friend and she was kind of saying, how come you've never tried Vancouver? Vancouver has a great acting scene. That's where she had started. And I think at first when she suggested that, I was a little hesitant, obviously, because I didn't want to, I'd never been to Vancouver and I obviously didn't want to just like pick up and move across the country. My family's in Toronto, a lot of my family's in Montreal, I was in a relationship there, I was with somebody for three years, all my friends were there and I was comfortable there, so why would I want to pick up and leave everything behind and go to the other side of the country? I couldn't stop thinking about it, like I couldn't stop thinking, you know, what if. Toronto was great, I had my life set there, but I felt like I was kind of in a rut and where I was at with acting wasn't fulfilling me at that point. Like I was auditioning, I was working a tiny bit, but it was a really slow climb and I was starting to feel like, is this it? Like, is this what my life is going to be like? You know, just kind of getting by doing the day-to-day -day things. So on a whim, I just booked my ticket out to Vancouver. I knew one person out here. And I kind of messaged him and I was like, look, I'm thinking about coming out to Vancouver. I don't really know what the plan is. I might just come out for a couple of months to get to know casting out here and then come back to Toronto. That way I can have contacts out in Vancouver and constantly submit myself on tape for it. Can I stay with you? And he was like, yeah, of course. And so I emailed a bunch of agents like the week before I went to Vancouver and I was just like, hey, my name is Ruby. This is my resume. This is my story. I'm going to be out in Vancouver next week. I would love to meet with you guys. At this point, I feel like I was pretty bold because honestly, I had like a comfortable life in Toronto. What did I really have to lose? If things went wrong in Vancouver, I could always just come back. So that week I flew out to Vancouver and I met so many agents and I did end up going with my top pick and they just seemed so excited and so motivating and kind of filled that hole that I had of not feeling fulfilled. Like they just seemed so excited about me and. And I think as an actor, especially starting out, you start to feel like you're just like everybody else. Like you don't really feel special. And I think the thing that I really liked about the agency, which I'm still with now, is they really made me feel like I was different. I kind of just like signed with them on a whim. And I did have an agent back in Toronto, which I have left now. Nothing against them. I just, when I decided that I wanted to be in Vancouver full time, I decided to leave them. But anyway, going back to that. So after that week, I went back to Toronto and I was thinking on it. And my agent that I just signed with out in Vancouver said, you know, if you want to get to know casting in Vancouver, come out for pilot season. So that's January to about March. So the following year, which is about two years ago now, I decided to come out for a couple months. And then as soon as I came out here, I started to get this overwhelming feeling that I wasn't going to go back. I can't really explain it or explain why I felt that way. Number one, I was by so much nature. It just put me at ease. Like I've always struggled with anxiety and depression and I felt almost like 
the claustrophobia of being in a big city like Toronto was just lifted off my shoulders. There was, there's just so much to do here. Like there's obviously so much culture, but there's like mountains and the beach and people go on hikes instead of going out for drinks, you know, it's just a different, it's a different lifestyle out here. And not to mention the fact that as soon as I came out here, I had an agent who was so, so excited and passionate about me that I was just auditioning like crazy. I started to say, okay, I'll just take it like one more month, one more month. And then about six months into being here, I decided that I didn't really want to go back. I had really fallen into a good groove here. I just didn't really feel the need to go back to Toronto. And it was definitely a really hard decision to make. I think at a certain point, when you just have this feeling you have to follow your gut and my gut was saying to stay in Vancouver. I'm still here and I can honestly say this is the happiest I've been in a long time. I'm in a new relationship with an amazing person who I'm so completely in love with and it's like the healthiest relationship I've ever been in. Mentally and physically I'm super healthy like obviously I just mentioned I've fallen off the wagon with you know my working out and eating but I'm still in such a good place physically and mentally that I feel like motivated to go to the gym I don't feel like I'm in a rut I feel like I've been welcomed so much by the people of Vancouver and I have such a large group of friends here that I couldn't imagine going back to Toronto right now I think eventually maybe I'd want to live in Toronto again just to be closer to my family and some friends that do live out there but I think right now I've built such a great little life for myself out here that I'm really happy right now. I've always been so career driven and just so willing to put my career before my own happiness that I've kind of realized that it's been slowly eating away at me. I think I need to just travel and not worry about, you know, oh, I can't go away for longer than a week because what if I miss auditions and then I miss my chance and then, you know, my whole career is just blown. So I know that sounds silly, but I think you actors out there will kind of understand where I'm coming from, that there's this need to feel like you're a slave to your career or else you, you might miss out. I think my plan for this year is really to just take a step back and have fun and that's why I decided to do YouTube because I feel like YouTube is a creative outlet. It's exciting to me that you can create your own content and I love editing, which I didn't think I would love, but I really love you know, sitting down in front of the computer and kind of cutting together different ideas that I had and seeing how that plays out with music and you know, lighting and everything. The direction that I want my YouTube channel to go in is kind of the more lifestyle branding of it. I love beauty, but I don't want to just have a beauty channel. I love fashion, but I don't want to have a fashion channel. I love fitness, but again, I'm definitely not a fitness model and I don't want to pursue a fitness career. But I think having a channel that incorporates all of those things, as well as travel and home decor, I personally love those kind of channels that aren't specifically geared towards one thing. I think what I benefit most from watching other people's channels is seeing people just being themselves and living their life and not trying to glamorize it for social media or audiences. I'm really excited for this next chapter of my life. I'm just not going to stress so much about being responsible and doing the right thing and I'm just going to kind of follow my heart and see where things take me. Sorry, there's somebody's mowing the lawn outside. <laughs> I hope I haven't talked your ear off. I know this is probably going to be one of my longest, if not the longest video, but I hope you found this video entertaining somewhat and I hope that maybe something I've said in this video can resonate with somebody out there. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe down below or leave a comment if you have any ideas on what I should do next and I'll see you next time. Bye. Running through the six with my